Hey everybody, what's going on? ESO, Flames of Ambition just dropped the two new dungeons. I've done them both last night on Veteran Hard Mode. They're actually really fun. Uh, one of them has so many secret bosses. I might upload videos on those later on. The other one, the Cauldron, is also really cool. But the main problem for most people right now seems to be how to allocate their new champion points because the system looks very confusing if you first look at it, but I've been doing the champion points for about 12 of my 18 characters on the European server now and the more you do it the easier it really gets so I'm gonna try and break this down really easily for you. So first thing you can see when you log in here you've got two notifications champion points reset and skills reset. Obviously the skills reset depends on what build you're playing you're just gonna have to um, remember what skills you used or look up the build that you were playing and the passives also obviously and get everything back and put it back on your bars but that shouldn't be too uh, too hard really mostly the champion point seems to be the problem for a lot of people so we're gonna break this down really easily as you can see I'm on a stamina character here uh, which will be important when we get to the blue stuff and a bit of the red stuff but we'll start out with the green stuff so my recommendation is best slottables you can get here are probably treasure hunter which increases the loot you can see the slottables because they're the shinier points see this one's a bit more shiny than this one so this when you unlock it you'll get anyway this you'll only get if you actually slot it on your bar up here in the green tree treasure hunter is great if you are still grinding for gear or if you just want to get better uh, quality loot out of the treasure chests Another great thing is Rationer. This adds uh, 10 minutes and then later on more to the duration of any eaten food or drink per stage. Another great one is Liquid Efficiency. Whenever you use a potion or a poison, you have a 10% chance not to consume it. And we all know how, uh, we all know how expensive spell and weapon power pots are, even though you can buy them with Alliance points right now. This is just a really nice thing to have. And then you've got Steed's Blessing, which is great, which increases your out-of-combat movement speed. And you've got Professional Upkeep, which reduces the cost of repairing your armor. So if you're doing a lot of dungeons and a lot of trials, this will save you some gold as well. Now, how you want to go about this is you've got to start with one of these things where you can put points into. You can see the minus and the plus next to it, and then work your way to the ones that you want to have. However, you don't have to fill them up completely. I've got about 1,280 champion points right now, but I'll start out slow and then show you how I do it in case you've got less, in case you've only got 600 or maybe 810 or something like that. So to unlock the path up to Treasure Hunter, we'll just put the minimum amount, uh, amount of points in here. You can see it says down there, spend 10 to unlock. So we're putting 10 in here. Then we can go up here and we're putting 10 in here. Then we could go up there, but Inspiration Boost, I, I only have one crafter and I don't really care about crafting on my other characters, so I'm going for Wanderer here, <laughs> which reduces the cost of Way Shrine usage, putting the minimum points in here. Then I could go down here, but I don't really care about fall damage because I don't fall from heights a lot. So I'm going up here, your weapon enchants decay slower, this seems to be a very nice thing that will cost you less soul gems to refill your weapon enchants and then I'm up, up here at treasure hunter and as you can see this will cost a full 50 to unlock which is why I've not spent anything but the bare minimum on all of these now I'm looking up here this is harvesting stuff so if you're like an overland player and you want that sure go for it you can really choose with these um, however remember every skill here that says add to champion bar to activate above it like these do you can only slot four of these so I'm just going for the ones that I just told you the rationer here as well then the liquid efficiency which costs a full 75 but in my opinion is very much worth it and then I'm not fishing on this character for sure so I'm going here to the steeds blessing and activating that just put in as many as you have and then I'm activating this and now you can see I've got 229 champion points left 
So now I can just figure out where I want to put these. Do I want to put them in my slotables? Which is probably the first thing I'll do. So I'll fill up Rationer completely to have that slotable bonus. And I'll fill up Steed's Blessing completely. And I'll fill up Professional Upkeep completely as well. Just because it sounds like a nice thing to have. Even though I'm not going to slot it. Probably... Well, I guess I could... Uh, switch to it whenever I'm repairing armor, but who, the, the switching might probably be more expensive. So, And then we've still got 129 left, so what to do with those? Um, I'm just going to look at this stuff here, like increases your gold gained. This seems like a really good idea, so I'm going to put that in here. Increases the amount of gold you find in treasure chests, also seems like a good idea. So this is going to go in here. The way shrine usage, I, I don't really care so much because mostly I'll just travel to a player who's in a dungeon or a trial. And yeah, this seems pretty nice as well. The weapon enchantment decaying uh, less fast. So I'm going to put this in here and then I've got nine points left. And I don't know, you can pick and choose either of these... Uh, whatever you want, really. The green tree is mostly quality of life so this one reduces the cost of sneak I guess that's nice for stuff like March of Sacrifices so I'm just gonna go here okay now I've filled up the green tree with all of the champion points I have now I'm pressing the triangle and this will uh, open up the bar up there and now I can choose which ones of the slottable ones that I chose I want actually to be active so for sure I want the treasure hunter then I'm gonna go right to the next dot I want the Rationer, go right to the next dot. I want the Liquid Efficiency, go right to the next dot, and the Steed's Blessing. And then we'll confirm, and that is our complete green tree here. So, as you can see now up here, the dots are filled. And you can see here the ones with the green circle around them, Treasure Hunter, Rationer, Liquid Efficiency, and Steed's Blessing are the ones that are actually active. These ones are not, because they're slottable. I'm just going to fill all that stuff up anyway because I'm probably going to grind up to 2000 CP. And these ones are also active because they're not slottables. They're just the, the smaller dots. So all the small ones and the slotted ones are active now. Okay, we'll continue with the red tree just because it's a little bit easier. Now, as you can see, there's Sprinter, reduces the cost of Sprint, which is really nice for PvE and PvP. Tumbling reduces the cost of roll dodge, which is also a nice thing. Over here, we could start with reduces the cost of block. That would maybe be good if you're a tank. <laughs> but I figured that the max health, the max armor, and the magicka health and stamina recovery are the best things you can start out with. So I'm just going to fill those up. Now, you don't have to put all 50 in or 40 in some cases like I do right here I'm just doing it because I know I'm gonna want them later on anyway if you're lower champion points than 1200 just start with 20 points into each of those maybe just to unlock the slottables it's not gonna be a full bonus of 150 health and magicka it's gonna be lower obviously if you only put 20 points in here but it will still be slottable and it will still be a good thing for your account so you want to get these three slotables probably. Just put 10 or 20 or 30 points into each, however much you have. And then you can go on with anything else you can choose here and open up paths to whatever you want. Now, the good thing for DPS is here, if you're a Magicka DPS, would be Restore Magicka if you kill an enemy. If you're a Stamina DPS, Bloody Renewal, Restore Stamina if you kill an enemy. So I want to definitely get here for my character right now because I'm on a stamina DPS and also Hero's Vigor just because that gives you an extra uh, max health bonus and it's also not a slottable so you get that anyway. Sprinter is also really good. So I'm gonna start out with putting some points into Sprinter, putting some points into Hasty to increase my movement speed while I'm sprinting and then I can be here at Hero's Vigor. Now I'm just going to grab the full health bonus here 
This is going to open up all these other trees. I don't know why Mystic Tenacity just filled itself. It might be a little bug, but I had that happen a couple times. So if you see that something fills up that you didn't want, just take the points back out. Um, maybe they'll fix that later on. So I definitely want Bloody Renewal because I want to get as much stamina back as I can if I kill an enemy. This is just super cool for stamina DPS. Uh, I don't care about Magicka because I'm a stamina DPS. Strategic, reserve, uh, strate strategic Reserve is also health recovery I don't really care about. I've got heals. Shields, I don't use shields on a stamina DPS. And I don't care about stealth much either. So what to do? Probably go down here and uh, reduce the cost of roll dodge. Remember none of these here are actual slottables except for bloody uh, renewal. So you'll get these bonuses either way. So I'm just going to fill this up a little bit. And then I've got 150 points left. Now over here, Defiance, Break Free cost. That's more of a tanking thing in my opinion. I don't really break free that often on a DPS. Expert Evasion is a nice thing for healers and tanks sometimes. Your next roll dodge is just free. But it costs a whole 50 points and it is a slottable because it says add to champion bar to activate. So I'm not going to use that either. I'm not also not going to use this because it's also a slottable. So I'm just going to try and fill up as much as I can from the non-slottables because these bonuses I'll get anyway. And then I've got my four slottables here with bloody renewal, rejuvenation, ironclad and boundless vitality. Over here, that's also more of a tanking thing, reduces the cost of block, increases the amount of damage you can block, reduces the cost of bash. The bash might actually be nice if you're using the monster set, uh, which you have, uh, uh, I forget the name, is it Grund? No, it's the other one. Anyway, there's a monster set uh, that uh, is good for bash weaving, so if you're using that, you might actually want to get this, just to reduce the cost of bash on a stamina DPS, but, well, that's up to you. If you use that monster set and you do bash weave, you probably figured that out by yourself anyway. So I'm just going to fill up Sprinter and Hasty and Tumbling. And here is Vigor. All right, that sounds good. All these points are located. Bloody Renewal sounds like a good idea. So yeah, now I've got my 72 points left and I can pretty much put them into whatever I want to put them into. Um, reduces the duration of elemental status effect applied to you by 5%, so that seems like a nice idea to at least put a little bit in here. Because also, because it's not a slottable, I'm not going to unlock another slottable now because I've already got my four slottables and these skills up here I don't really care about so much. This is actually quite nice, decreases the time it takes to resurrect an ally, but... Mm, well, maybe if you're the designated resurrector in your trials team, if such a thing exists. I'm going to put a bit into Tireless Guardian, though, to reduce the cost of block. And then maybe even put some in here in case I want to use that monster set at some point. Well, let's just put them all in, whatever. And the blocking. So all of this is more like... Uh, mitigation and cost reduction to sprinting, blocking, bashing, um, but the most important ones I think are bloody renewal because getting 1500 stamina back if you kill an enemy is really huge. And then for uh, Magicka DPS the same thing in Magicka with siphoning spells. Okay so we're done uh, clicking triangle again and then you can see the four uh, ones that I chose. So uh, this one, go right, this one, go right, this one and this one and that will be the red tree now we're gonna look at the blue tree which for a lot of people seems to be the most um, <clears throat> confusing one because it has these two little purple areas here the staving death and the extended might which you can actually open up and then they have smaller trees in here as well however we're gonna start looking at the uh, the things that we can even start with. So we've got Eldritch Intra Insight, which grants Max Magicka. Now, if you were a Magicka DPS, I would definitely start with this one. However, I'm a Stamina DPS, so I'm going to Tireless Discipline. I'm going to put some points into here. 
which will unlock the paths down to Staving Death and up to Extended Might. Then I'll go for Precision because crit chance is a thing this patch uh, the crit chance bonuses on all the sets and stuff got lowered so you can make up with this for that and it also opens up all these things up here so uh, reaving blows when you deal direct damage wrathful strikes uh, grants weapon and spell damage occult overlord um, deals oblivion damage backstabber increases your crit damage if you are uh, hurting an enemy that you are flanking so hitting from behind or uh, the side or fighting finesse if you are in the face of the enemy like the dragons and sunspire as so many people already said dealing critical damage <laughs> now the difference in these two is fighting finesse only gives you 10% at max bonus backstabber gives you 15% so if you are in a trial where you are actually behind the boss or if you're on the target dummy and you turn it around this will do more damage than this if you're in Sunspire, where you're, for example, fighting dragons, or, um, I don't know, any other trial where the boss is facing you, which doesn't happen too often, maybe the Stone Atronach in Ethereum Archive or so, but that thing dies so fast anyway, it's probably not even worth it. Um, so that's that, exactly. Now, let's look at the slottables we've got here. So the big white ones that say, add to your champion bar. We've got Backstabber. We've got Fighting Finesse, for DPS this is now. We've got Deadly Aim, increases your single target damage. Domiturge increases your damage over time. And Biting Aura increases your area of effect damage. So these will probably be the slottables to go for. This, I said, is swappable depending on the content. Uh, but most of the time you're probably going to be on the backside of the boss because most tanks will turn the bosses around if you are a open world player or more of a dungeon player it might be worth going with fighting finesse because a lot of times you gotta run around the bosses and they'll turn towards you anyway but if you're doing more trials <coughs> or dungeons in which you have a tank that turns them around backstabber is probably going to be the best option for you the other slottables sound really cool stuff like occult overlord like uh, when you kill an enemy under the effect of a status effect, they violently explode for 2,000 oblivion damage. But what's 2,000 oblivion damage, right? And uh, how often do you kill things that are affected by a status effect? Well, it, I guess it happens quite frequently. It might be nice for like add or trash pulls or something. I don't know. Uh, Wrathful Strike seems like a nice idea too. But the weapon and spell damage we can get from another perk in here. So now I've put 50 into all of these because I know I can afford it. Um, wait, I got to open up this tree first. So let's go in here, put some points into the penetration and that'll open it up so I can grab these slottables as well. All right, so now I've got my five slottables. I can only slot four, but as I said, these two you can swap out so um, I want to unlock them both. Remember, you don't have to put 50 points into all of these if you don't have it. Just put 10 into each of those and then see what you got left because there might be stuff that's more important to you. Now, the max stamina bonus, I definitely want to max that out because I'm a stamina DPS. I want the stamina. If you were a Magicka, you had Eldritch Insight here, which you could uh, get to grab the full max Magicka bonus. The precision I also want to max out because the crit chance will really help with the DPS. And then down here, there's a lot of stuff like quick recovery, taking less damage from non-players, taking less damage from magic, taking less damage from martial attacks, which is physical poison, disease, bleed. Um, I've seen that on a couple of things, like people unlocking this, and then, but I, I opted not to do that right now. Because 1% healing taken, what's that? Like, it's, is that really going to help? And even at, at max bonus, it's 4% healing taken. I guess 4% might make a little bit of a difference, but 1% doesn't really seem to be worth it. I would really only open this up if you wanted to get something in here, which is nice for tanks. So reducing the damage taken from non-player attacks, magic attacks, and martial attacks. But unless you're a tank, I would probably just leave this be for now.
until you get really high with your champion points. Much more importantly over here in Extended Might for a DPS, the penetration is important. I would definitely try to put as much as I can in there. And then the left tree opens up to Flawless Ritual, which uh, is the Magicka tree. And then later on to War Mage, which grants you uh, weapon and spell damage to magical attacks. So Magic Flame, Frost and Shock damage. On the other side, you've got Battle Mastery, which increases the chance to apply Martial Status effect. So I'm going to unlock this. And then down here, 100 or more weapon and spell damage to my martial attacks. So physical bleed, poison, disease, and bleed damage. So I'm definitely going to go in this because I do want the 100 uh, weapon and spell damage bonus to my physical poison, disease, and bleed damage attacks since I'm a stamina DPS. And then the rest of these points, I don't know, you can throw them in here and then fill that up slowly, or you could put nine points I've got left. Well, I'm not going to put them into the one percent uh, recovery that's just crap okay so now that we've got this stamina the five slottables to choose from the penetration and uh, the spell uh, weapon damage bonus as it used to be now it's weapon and spell damage for martial attacks we're clicking the triangle again there's my bonuses as I said before fighting finesse is for facing the enemy backstabber is for being behind the enemy I'm just gonna go with backstabber for now equip all of those oops and then confirm it and that's my champion points so the green tree really is the same for all my characters my tanks my healers my stem dps my magic dps uh, because this is all just quality of life stuff you know i want better loot from chests I want my food to last longer, I want my potions to not get used up, and I want my movement speed to be good, and I also want to get more gold from uh, chests and uh, and just in general. The red stuff is more of the mitigation or cost reduction kind of thing, so I definitely want to get stamina back when I kill things, or if you're a Magicka, the siphoning spells, just to recap this. I want the max health bonus, I want the sprinting bonus, I want the roll dodge bonus, um, I want the sprint speed. In case of a stamina DPS, when using said monster set, uh, I want the bash bonus as well, and also I didn't really know where else to put them right now. But more importantly, I do want to get Magicka stamina and health back. I want more armor, and I want more max health. And... Um, Recap for the blue one, even though we just did this, you got your Fighting Finesse Backstabber, which you swap out depending on how you face the boss. Deadly Aim, Thaumaturge, and Biting Aura for area of effect, damage over time, and single target attacks. You want your max stamina in Tireless Discipline if you're a Stam DPS, or your Eldritch Insight for max Magicka if you're a Magicka DPS. And then in here, you want to get your uh, Penetration going, and you want your um, martial attack bonus on the right side or your uh, magical attack bonus on the left side so depending if you're a mag or stem DPS you go this way or this way and remember as I've already said you don't have to fill all these up to unlock the next thing if you're lower uh, lower champion points like 600 just put 10 in and work your way forward and then see how much you can put in there uh, this is a lot 50 in all of those they're all maxed out but if you just lower just put 10 into all of these um, just put a couple into piercing, though the penetration is important, so maybe a little bit more. But leave out the, the battle mastery or the flawless ritual for now. Uh, precision is also important, but if you don't have it, just put 10 or 20 in here. You really can work your way forward. The most important thing is that you unlock your slottables that you can put on your bar. And then just share your champion points evenly into whatever you think is most important at the time. Okay, I hope that made a little bit sense. I was quite confused when I first started out with uh, doing the new champion points, but after after I've done it on like five or six characters, it really started to uh, it really started to get a lot easier because there's just in, in a lot of characters, it's just the same stuff you want, you know. All right, I hope that helped. I hope that was a nice explanation for you guys. Have a good one. I'll see you with the next video soon.